Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing another DIY and my DIY today is inspired by shoes specifically. Let me show you. Oh it's gonna be hard. Yes. Okay so I came across this video. They did like DIY Air Force inspired things. Okay I love a good Nike Air Force moment so let me go ahead and watch this. So I continued watching it and they basically designed their own shoe and I'll insert a little video here of the video that I'm referring to. I'll do like a little fast clip right here. Um, but I basically am going to be doing this. I want to vlog the experience, my thoughts, because I'm like okay this looks like a good idea. Like I love this so let's go ahead and try it. What you're going to need to do is go to Walmart and get the shoes. Apparently they're like $14, but they look like the white Nike Air Forces dupes. And then you basically create your own, so that's what we're gonna do. But I like this idea because I'm not saying that I don't want to buy the Nike ones, because I literally do, like, that's not the issue. The issue is, is it's nice to create things and DIY things yourself. So apparently this is gonna cost under $20. If you guys want to create this, or if you guys want to create something similar, Go ahead and continue watch this video, but let's go ahead and head over to Walmart. I know I never go to Walmart because I haven't been there in like 10 years. And it's fine, it's for the video. Okay, so now I'm home and I have the goods. So here are the shoes. They're just white. So they only had these in the women's section. I checked the men's last because I just figured it was in the women's section. If you are looking for these shoes, check the women's section first because I couldn't find them in the men's section. So $14.97. This is pretty affordable. Like they could be like similar you know what I mean like these are the real ones and these are the Walmart versions so I mean like the only thing they're missing is the logo you're gonna need some paintbrushes and three different shades of brown beach comber beige I'm gonna mispronounce these territorial beige and nutmeg brown and then the last thing I got is this Mod Podge gloss it's paint sealer so basically this is gonna help so that the paint doesn't chip or doesn't like wear down quick but yeah I'm so excited here's the before okay try to get a thumbnail but yeah here's the before and let's start working on this little part. okay so I'm gonna use this to like keep from getting on my white carpet I'm gonna go in with the medium brown on this part of the shoe here goes nothing guys a little arts and crafts moment So I finished the first part of the shoe. You are going to have to do a couple coats because you guys can see it's very streaky. But while this dries, I'm going to move on to the second color which I'll do on this part which is going to be the lightest brown. I'll have to of course go over it again. So I'm done with the second color, or like I said, you can see it's very streaky, so you're definitely going to have to go over it a couple times. But, and then on the darkest brown, I'm going to go over this section, then this back section. Hopefully, I don't know, I'm kind of like sketch. This one's going to be the hardest and I'm so nervous. Okay, so I finished both shoes. I went ahead and did the second one off camera. Y'all, this is taking forever. I've been doing this since 8. But I'll show you guys what it looks like. See, it looks so cute on camera. But then watch, watch when we get closer. Mood. What the heck? Like, this brown is not staying. I'm going to have to do this like a couple coats. It might be really cute when I'm done. We'll see. So it's now 11.25, I'm completely finished with the shoes. Oh my god, you guys, that took forever. I put them in these Nike boxes so it looks cute. Here it is. Uh, just kidding. Uh, 
Y'all, when I tell you I am like shook, I am shook. Okay, so here's what they look like. They both look like that. But here's the finished product. I literally want to do more of these. Like, I have a vision in my head for like a baby pink or a light blue color. So the brown on top I was struggling with. I had to do like 6,000 coats, I swear. So I'm going to put them on and then I'll show you guys what they look like on. what they look like on like I put them with these jeans because I feel like this is like the vibe for them but they are so cute when I tell you I'm obsessed I'm obsessed alrighty guys well that completes this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you do do something definitely tag me on Instagram um, with whatever color you guys do or whatever vibe you guys do it does take a lot of patience and a steady hand because it's hard to get it to not go past like this part so i guess i'm a shoe designer now i'm gonna add that to my resume what should we call these i'm stuck between moonlight 21s or orlando 21s let's call them the moonlight 21s these are the moonlight 21s <laughs> there's only one on the planet and i have them so if you want them let me know i've officially named them as the moonlight 21s because moonlight and then I made them in 2021, so that's where the name comes from. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more DIYs, more videos. Don't forget to hit that like button if you guys liked how the shoe came out. And follow me on my social media as always. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.